Hi everybody, my name is George Santos, and this is the George Santos Show. Now you might have heard that I'm going to prison because I'm a liar. Well, guess what? That's the one thing I've said that's actually true. I'm going to jail because I'm a liar. But before we go to jail, let's have a little talk about what's going on. Can you believe what's going on with the convention? Why didn't they invite me? Huh? Why didn't they invite this nice young Republican to the Democratic Convention? I don't get it. I'm nice. I could have given a good speech, but no. They just had to move on without me. But that's okay, because I'm going to be in jail. I'm not sure how long yet. Probably not terribly long. But it's gonna, I'm going to be in there. I'll make new friends. I'll make, I mean, maybe I'll learn a new trade. It'll be fun. Let's see what these callers have to say about it. A good riddance to bad rubbish. That's what I think about you. You're just rubbish. Well, when I was in the Marines over there in Vietnam, we talked about you. We called you a liar. We would sit around and sing Reveille and talk about how you, sir, you personally are a liar. Can't believe they let people like you on the phone. Do we even know how a phone works? I bet you have something that has, that's up against the wall. Let's take another one of these calls. Maybe it'll be nice. So you're going to jail. Maybe you'll see my friend Jules. Jules is a nice guy. Tell him that, that Hector said hi. Meet up with him. He can help you out. Oh, you're trying to set me up with a date? Is that what this is? Just because I'm gay doesn't mean I want people in prison. I'm not even supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be out in the Bahamas with my friend, you know, my friend Bill Gates and my friend, you know, AOC, all my friends. Let's try another one of these calls, even though they're stupid. Hi, my name's Jill. And if I were old enough, I would have voted for you, but I'm only five. You seem like a nice guy. Why are you going to jail? What kind of silly thing did you do? Okay, bye-bye. Now, see, that's when we need to have a phone call. That lady was nice. I mean, what was she, five years old? She's a little young. Maybe I should, like, let Matt Gates talk to her or something. I don't know. Maybe that would be a good idea. Anyway, thanks, Jill. Next time that I'm available to go to office might be when you're available to vote. So let's just... Cross our fingers. Yeah, cross our fingers. But before then, let's take a break. Maybe we can find out some, some good information what's going on and we can get some good callers. Okay, bye. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert. And sometimes you're at a vending machine and what you need is coins. Coins, coins, coins. Well, luckily, there's a store for that. Over here, down at the coin store. They got a special right now, and quarters, four for a dollar. Dimes, ten for a dollar. If you need dollar bills as well, they got dollar bills. They got one dollar bills. They got two dollar bills. They got five dollar bills. They got ten dollar bills. They got twenty dollar bills. They got fifty dollar bills. And they've got a hundred dollar bills. Right now it's five twenty for one hundred dollars. That's the special happening. So remember, if you need some coins or just a little extra cash, come on down to the coin store. It's just a jump to the left. The story of the Rocky Horror Picture Show tonight at eight p.m. on four hundred and twenty-two. I'm George Santos, and this is the George Santos Show. Now, since I'm going to jail soon, I have to pick what my meals are going to be before then. So tonight I think I'm going to have a cheeseburger. 
And then tomorrow I think I'm going to have something without meat. And then the day after, maybe I'll do like a steak. I don't know. But I want to make sure to have good food before I go because I'm not going to have good food in there. It's a prison. I heard that they're not very good. And then you like start making food with ramen in your pillow and all the things. And then there's some kind of alcohol called Pruno or something. I don't know. Let's, you know. let's just move on and think happy thoughts. Like how I used to manage the Yankees or... How one time I was, when I was the premier of some country out in Europe, I I stopped a war. Yeah, I do all these things. I do more than you do in four hours' time. Anyway, let's go back to the calls. Hey, you! I'm the owner of the Hackensack Bulls. When you get out... Do you want a job? I'll give you a job as a manager. You can manage the team. Got some great people. We got Spike and the catcher. You got Monty Brewster as the, the pitcher. All sorts of great teams. Unfortunately, our last manager can't make it because, well, Jerry Arbach died. But you, George Santos, you could be the next one. So, yeah, come on down. Make it to Hackensack, New Jersey. Ew, New Jersey? No way, man. I'm going to stay in Long Island. That's my home. We're so much better than you. Everyone's so much better than Jersey. It's not even old Jersey. If it were old Jersey, I might like it better. And then I might actually put the shirt on because, you know, it's a Jersey. Anyway, let's see what these other calls are. I've got a few more calls. Uh, I just want to tell you, before you get into the jail as a prisoner or whatever, I just want to say something that hopefully I'm the first one but not the last. You're a buffoon, sir. You're an idiot. And I hope you make some friends that call you an idiot as well. So that's it. You're an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm better than you. Remember, I went to the moon. I went to the moon four times. I got to juggle on the moon. It was great. I got to juggle. I was using chainsaws and baseballs and all sorts of things. You didn't see the footage, did you? Uh Uh-uh. But let's just take this other call, and then we're going to call it night, but we're going to do this one. Hi, everybody. My name is Bill. I'm the last caller. I heard you're going to jail, George. That doesn't sound like a good thing, but... I mean, you did tell the Iranians that we didn't have any nuclear weapon, and then you gave them the the codes to it. Then you gave away all your secrets about 9-11. Didn't you? Weren't you the one that said that you bought the Trump Tower for Donald Trump for $3, but you were letting him hold on to it just to give him a little power? Oh, George, we're going to miss you. Well, when I say we're going to miss you, kind of reverse that. We're not going to miss you. But there'll be someone else taking your spot. They'll be better than you. So anyway, let us know when you're ready. When you get out. We'll start shining our shoes for you. What was he talking about? That was weird. Some weird caller. I guess he has a show or something. I've never been on it. Maybe I should go on it. But, you know, I think that's it. I'm going to get some suits ready for court and 
I want to have a cheeseburger. And I'll probably have a bunch of drugs and alcohol because I won't be able to do that. So, maybe I can sneak some in. No, no, probably not. Anyway, that's it for my show. I'm George Santos, and I'll check you on the flip side.